What is going on TGG fam? Today we have the best Razor lineups for Fracture and Valorant for you. These lineups will cover Razor's kit as a whole, but more specifically focus on her boom bot and paint shells. Valorant's latest map Fracture is a very tight map with a lot of small spaces and this means that Raze, an agent who specializes in AOE damage, loves to frag out. Before we get any further into the video, drop a like and subscribe as well as commenting down below any lineups we might have missed. Starting off with attacking Boombot lineups, our first lineup will clear a dish from attacker side bridge. A dish is hard to clear as enemy agents can hear you coming unless you sneak. They also have two sides of the dish they can peek from or retreat back towards a drop. This lineup will clear all of the angles around a dish and allow you to safely push towards a site. Stand against the right hand wall at the top of the ramp just by the entrance to a dish. You'll see a small crack opposite you. Watch where we aim and throw out the Boombot. Our second Boombot lineup takes us over to the other side of a site. Start in attacker side spawn by the entrance to A hall and stand at the top of the ramp against the wall. Aim at the teal rectangle on the left hand side and fire. The lineup will allow you to clear out all of A hall including behind the brown boxes as well as A main. This will allow you to scout out any enemy agents lurking behind brown boxes with an operator ready to snipe you. Just tell your teammates to wait 5 seconds before peeking. Moving on to the third lineup of the video. This boombot lineup will clear out enemy agents lurking near A door. Sometimes enemies will play close to Ador to surprise your team when pushing. Ador is a notoriously hard area to clear out due to the coverage from brown boxes, but this lineup will clear out both sides of Ador without you having to peek. To pull off this lineup, stand in the same spot as you did in the previous lineup, aim the boom bot just a little further right of where you aimed last time and drop the bot. Make sure you remember this lineup as a variety in your kit is crucial. Moving over to B site now, we have a lineup to clear out B canteen, a very hard area to clear. This is because when you are pushing, enemy agents can lurk in B generator and B canteen ready to pounce. This boom will make your life easier by clearing the entrance of B site and B canteen. You first want to stand on the corner of the wall at B main entrance. Aim at the bottom left corner of the poster on the opposite wall at the top of B main and drop. The boom bot will bounce off the wall and clear out all of B canteen, including the close angle behind the boxes. Now for the other side of B site, one of our favorite boom bot lineups. This boombot will clear the whole of the lower box area by the B tower zipwire. You can use this boombot from the safety of B bench too. This means your team has one less area to worry about checking when pushing B site. In order to add this lineup into your repertoire, stand against the box in B bench as we do. Slightly line up the boombot indicator below the massive patch of the animated screen without mold. The lineup is one of our harder ones in this video, but it can be forgiving as long as you get the basics down. Moving on to defending lineups for Raze on Fracture, these are some of the most important to know. This is because on Fracture, the enemy team can attack from four different sides, meaning that you need to gather intel as soon as you can in a round. This lineup will gather information from B-Tree. To pull off this lineup during the buy phase, you want to stand in the middle of the barrier. Place the boom bot indicator in the middle of the lowest orange rectangle on the right hand wall. The boom bot will bounce off the wall and scout any attackers pushing B-Tree. This lineup is also very forgiving as long as you do not get shot immediately. Moving on to lineups for Razor Paint Shell, this lineup will rain damage on enemies from above. This is perfect for defenders that are overwhelmed by rush attacks coming from A dish. To use this lineup, stand on the A link side corner of the structure in defender side spawn. Aim at the oval shape outline in the roof, just above A link, before the yellow and black painted trim to the gap in the roof and throw. The paint shell should go through the roof and explode above A drop. Raze's lineups are relatively simple, so if you want to challenge yourself and learn Raze lineups for all the other maps, then we have them right here. We have lineups for Ascent, Breeze, Haven, Bind, Split, and Icebox too. For our final lineup for Raze on Fracture, we will be covering A Hell on A site. This is very good for attacking or defending. If enemies are planting, this will prevent them from doing so, or alternatively, it will force defenders out of A Hell. The only drawback of this lineup is that it doesn't work if enemies plant in A Heaven. To pull off the lineup, you must be positioned in A ropes. Avoid fully peeking so you don't get exposed, you just need to see the two metal pipes on the wall above A Hell. Place your crosshair by the gap in the left pipe and throw. This is an easy lineup and you can do it pretty consistently. Other agents on Fracture will require lineups, especially as it's such a tight map, learning lineups will take your gameplay to the next level. Luckily for you guys, we have lineups for Killjoy, Viper, KO, Sova, Brimstone, Phoenix and the new agent Fade. No matter the team composition, Raze can always work on Fracture. She's one of the best agents on the map and it's always a good pick. For now though, that's all from us here at The Global Gaming. We hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already. Bye for now.